I was very impressed when I visited Bastogne for the first time shortly after I arrived in Belgium in 2018. Like most people, I knew of the Battle of the Bulge, of course, but to see the battleground locations with my own eyes and to feel the cold and witness the conditions the soldiers must have experienced made a real impression on me. At Bois Jacques, the scars of the fighting are still visible today. The foxholes remain a poignant reminder of the brutality of the fighting which raged during December 1944 and January 1945. The 101st Airborne Division was charged with stopping the German units stationed just a few hundred yards from their position and who were moving toward Bastogne. To provide shelter from the violence of the fighting, the American soldiers had no choice but to dig in to protect themselves from enemy fire and artillery bombardment. Artillery fire that was particularly deadly in the forest. Last year, for the 75th anniversary of the Battle of the Bulge, I met with veterans who traveled to the Ardennes forest to remember their brothers in arms. Many of them traveled thousands of miles sometimes year after year, to make this pilgrimage to Bastogne. As you may know, the Battle of the Bulge was the bloodiest that the United States fought in the European theater. Just down the road from Bois Jacques, I discovered the Martisan Memorial, a tribute built by the people of Belgium in gratitude to the courage and sacrifice of these American heroes. The monument was a generous gift built by the people of Belgium in memory of the 76,890 American soldiers killed, wounded, or missing during the Battle of the Bulge. The memorial is in the shape of a five-pointed star, a tribute to the American soldiers who participated in the liberation of the region. On July 16, 1950, the memorial was inaugurated in front of an audience of 10,000 people and in the presence of General Anthony McAuliffe, the commander of the 101st Airborne Division. To mark the 75th anniversary of the Battle of the Bulge, the sacrifices of American armed forces during the Second World War, and the generosity of the Belgian people, the Embassy to the Kingdom of Belgium announced the launch of a project to restore the Martisan Memorial in Bastogne in October 2019. The renovation project included extensive cleaning of the monument and restoration of some of the stonework which had suffered from the effects of wind, rain, and snow. Back in the late 1940s, Belgian citizens raised funds to build the memorial, while donations toward today's restoration have come from American citizens across the United States. On December 12, 2020, this phase of the project culminated in a ceremony finalizing the transfer of the Martisan Memorial to the stewardship of the American Battle Monuments Commission. Our job is we are a commemorative organization uh, and we are responsible for all of the sites, the commemorative sites, uh, for those American uh, soldiers uh, that were lost overseas and that been buried and remain overseas. Though current pandemic conditions meant that the ceremony was small, much less an audience of 10,000 people, the meaning is no less profound. With this transfer, we express our deep gratitude to the Belgian people for never forgetting their American liberators. It's very, very important to say thank you. Thank you very much to the soldiers who lost uh, their the life in my, in my city, in this region. That's a symbol of the gratitude of the Belgian people to uh, the American people. We came to liberate, we came to perpetuate freedom, we came to ensure that democratic values would live a long time here in Belgium. I think this is a, a symbol of that commitment of the United States to the people of Belgium as well, well as to the rest of Europe and the world.